Hello, ladies and gentlemen! So, we have an OU battle versus Better Ed than Smeg, and our lovely little Ed is a derp, and he brought Darumaka into an OU battle because he's all hurt for derp. Oh, yeah, Darumaka is definitely the one. And then when he, like, put it on, he transferred it. Obviously, it wasn't the one, but he still wanted to use Darumaka anyway because he had made it. And he has Rotom Spin, which should be called Rotom Fan because it's a fan, but, you know, Game Freak logic. It obviously has spinning parts, so it's obviously Rotom Spin, right? Something like that. Game Freak logic, it makes sense. Anyway, as you can see, I'm using, like, a rain team. Uh, basically all, like, pretty much the top OU, because, well, it's what I had readily available on my ace card. Really need to get to making other OU teams, I just... I don't really OU battle that much anymore, or actually battle anymore, because, you know, I like to battle no new people, I, I'm i getting sick of battling the same people, uh, and I mean, I haven't battled Ed in a while, so that's why I battle him. So yeah, he let off with QMB, I let off with Polytoad, I went for the Protect to see what he was going to do, and now I switched to Ferrothorn to take the Fusion Bolt nicely, so he switches, which means he must be like Scarford. Something along those lines, and so I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks, knowing he can't really do much to my Ferrothorn because it's QMB and I'm a Ferrothorn. And I should, in theory, be able to survive one or two hits. So, he goes for the end bar fire on Magnezone, traps me. Should have figured that he would switch to Magnezone to get rid of Ferrothorn, which is rather unfortunate. But, uh, nothing you can do. Missing that Leech Seed was bothersome, though, because I could have Leech Seed and then protected and then, you know, had my fun. And survived a little bit longer, but nah. Oh, no, I had to miss it. It's all good. So I Brandon Braylon, go for the spore, go for the sword stance, he switches to Rotom Spin. I could have switched out here, but I I don't know. I have I just had a feeling that like some status move was on the on the way, so I just went for the mock punch. And unfortunately I was right, so there's gonna be a Will O Wisp there, and it's going to obviously weaken my sword stance to where I'm doing normal levels of damage. So now I'm going to switch here knowing that he's probably not going to go for another Will-O-Wisp. And he goes for the Pain Split, which isn't a big deal because both Thunderous T and Rotom don't have the highest HP, so it all works out for the best. Now he's going to bring in his Magnezone knowing that HP Ice is on the way. And this is a different Thunderous T. It is a Nasty Plot Thunderous T. I'm not even sure like anyone's ever ran that, but I was like... It learns Nasty Plot, it has 330 speed, you know, it it can work out, you know, might as well, might as well throw a Nasty Plot on there and make this thing ridiculously, I mean, it already hits hard, let's make it hit hard, even harder, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, Thunderbolt, and he brought in his Star Maka because he thought Scarf would be able to outspeed me, but of course it's not going to be able to because, well, it's Star Maka, they're not exactly the fastest things. And, um... Yeah, unfortunately I missed the Focus Blast, which is kind of good, because it means this battle gets to go on for a little bit longer. There's not, like, some Thunderous T sweep here. So that all works out. And now it's time to bring in good old Choice Bandit Scizor, who is going to Bullet Punch. Unfortunately, because, yeah, it is Choice Bandit. I'm going to have to switch here and do something that could be potential death fodder. So, yeah, I figured I could put this thing to sleep. But, unfortunately, he... He has agility, which, um, you know, that's not fun. That is not fun. Not fun at all. Never seen this, but, you know, Ed does tend to run his own sets anyway, so I guess that's why I've never seen it. Fortunately for me, he is water absorbed, not hydration, because he didn't account into rain teams, and this actually would have been, like, the biggest rain team counter ever if it had hydration, which he also agreed to, um, so he might change that to hydration at some point. I don't know. But it, regardless, he does switch out, which is nice for me because that means I get to survive a little bit longer and uh, do what it, do what I Politoed can do. So I'm going to just go ahead and go for the Toxic. He has Electro Web because, again, Ed likes to run his own sets, so he goes for the Electro Web regardless. And uh, yeah, it actually does a pretty decent amount of damage. I mean, it doesn't have the highest base power, but it does a decent amount of damage. He's going to miss the will of us because I'm just going to continue to go for the Protect right here, okay? Like, I'm going for Protect, and I uh, managed to somehow survive. I knew that if I got a Protect up, I would be at the point where I could survive an Electro Web. And now I'm going to Parasome because why not? I mean, 
Golem Spin is pretty much dead at this point anyway if he tries to stay in and get the Politoed, because Toxic will eventually rack up on up. To where Rotom Spin will be gone, Mr. Fanfun shall have fun no longer, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so right here it gets a little bit stally because I'm trying to stall out the Parasome and I keep going for the Protect, because, again, why not? I mean, my Politoed's dead anyway. His Rotom Spin, and again I almost said Fan, because Fan Fun. His Rotom Fan Fun is almost dead, and it is dead now. So, he's going to bring it in his Guard Chomp just to finish off my lovely little Politoed. And actually, the interesting thing about this Guard Chomp right here is that it is a physical wall, okay? So, because he is a physical wall, that means he has HP investment, which means his Icy Wind is not going to straight out KO a Guard Chomp, which is more or less one of the only times you will ever see a Keldeo not outright KO a Guard Chomp. And, I mean, I am a Scarf Keldeo, so there is that to factor in. So, basically, yeah, um, yeah, he has this thing. I'm going to just continuously high C1, because the cat, that Keldeo's usefulness is out. My, my little Rainbow Dash is going to go down. Goodbye, Brony Love. Goodbye. All the bronies now shed silent tears while they're watching this video. Anyway, so I figured, you know, Scizor could finish this off with a bullet punch, and yeah, Choice Bandit Scizor is awesome. So, that is the match. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys later.